Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to replace ink cartridges in an XP2205. Now this is nice and simple and can be done from the printer itself. Now there's a couple of ways to approach this and it all comes down to whether your printer is warning that the ink cartridge needs to be replaced with a lit ink lamp found on the front of the printer or if you're wanting to change a cartridge before this due to a print quality issue. The approach is similar but there's a few little key differences which I'll explain as we go. If your ink light on the front of the machine is lit, you're safe to just open up the lid of the printer. If not, we need to indicate to the printer that we want to change the cartridges, which we do by holding down this button here for a full 10 seconds. And release. Now, if we open the printer by going below the scanner where you'd put the paper, if you feel down the sides, you'll see there are recesses on either side, so get a finger in there, lift it up, and this blue arm on the left here will take the weight of the scanner bed. And in holding down that button for 10 seconds, the printer realizes what we need to do and has moved the ink cartridge cradle over here where the cartridges can be replaced due to the recessed plastic at the top. If you're replacing the ink cartridges due to that lit ink lamp, your printer will have moved the ink cartridge cradle over to here where there's like a point in the plastic. And this point will be pointing at whichever ink cartridge it sees as a problem. Now you can press that button that we did before and it will move along, show you every cartridge that it has an issue with until it eventually moves over here after the relevant amount of presses where again, we can replace the inks like we're about to do. So the first thing we need to do is remove our desired cartridge which we do by reaching down the back of the ink cartridge. There's like a small clip. So we press that down and then we can lift the cartridge out carefully, pull it forwards and get our replacement. When brand new, the Epson original cartridges will just need all of the um, protective packaging moving. So in this case, take the polythene off and there will always be a pull tab on the back of the cartridge, which is very important to remove. Depending upon whether it's original or compatible, this will be like a yellow or orange, but you just take it off and it breaks a vacuum within the cartridge and lets the um, ink kind of redistribute itself within the sponge. Then you are safe to put the cartridge into the printer. You don't need to worry about piercing the film on the bottom. That gets pierced automatically as it goes into the ink cartridge cradle. You can see back here. So just pop them in and there's a push towards the back. Press down on that click into place and it'll be sat flush with the rest of the cartridges. We then just lower the lid of the printer, carefully pop that in, take it down. It will just collapse, so you do have to lower it carefully. And then to indicate to the printer that we finished replacing cartridges, we simply press this button shown here so that the machine will check out the cartridges, make sure it's happy and get you into position where you are ready to print. You'll know this has been done because the power light over here will stop flashing when it's happy. And if the ink light comes on, your printer still thinks there is an issue with the cartridge. So after a couple of minutes of whirring and clicking, you can see the ink light has now gone out, meaning the printer is happy with it. If the light is still lit on your printer, you might wanna try running through the process again, reinstalling the cartridge. And if you continue to have issues, there might be something genuinely wrong with the cartridge, in which case just contact whoever you purchased it from. If you found this video useful, let me know with a like. If there's anything else you'd like to add, please do pop it down in those comments. Otherwise, thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.